Right, so we're, we're heading we're heading off today. We've got to leave Kildwick. The boat's been here for two weeks. And uh, we're leaving this lovely view. Sharp miss the road traffic noise though. But you're going to miss your little snowdrops view, aren't you? When we came, they were just tiny little white tips and we've watched them over two weeks open out and they're probably at their best now, but we do have to leave. We were going to go yesterday, um, but there were waves on the water. It was so windy and we actually ran out completely of water. That was the day before so, yesterday, wasn't it? We yeah. ran out, completely ran out of water. So we've fortunately there is um, a tap nearby and so we had some water bottles and we've just been filling up water bottles and using that and just really really being careful on the boat to survive. We've had enough for coffee and tea this morning so. Um, There's a house just yeah. up here with a sign on the outside that says please help yourself to water so we've just been filling up two litre bottles and yeah. keep us going for a couple of I'm days. I'm sure, I don't think it's meant for boaters necessarily, I wouldn't fill the boat up there but no. I'm sure nobody is going to deny us drinking water for a day. No. Um, but that does mean now, because we couldn't move yesterday because of the wind, we've got 10 miles to do, haven't we? Today? Yeah, we've got a bit of a day of it. We're going to Skipton first to uh, fill up with water, get another gas bottle and then we're going to move up towards Gargrave after that. So it's almost 10 miles and 10 swing bridges and maybe two stroke three locks. But it's milder. The weather is gradually, gradually warming up. It's not a freezing cold day. There's hardly any wind. Um, so it's not a bad thing, is it? We'll just try and enjoy the cruise. Yeah. And we've seen this scenery all up and down here so much, but obviously it's beginning to change as things grow. So it'll be interesting to see it again. I think it's about a month since we were at Gargrave, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's us today. Right, let's get going. Busy day. Swing bridges to do. We've had a change of role this morning. I've opened the first two bridges and Franz walked the dogs ahead to get this one open. She's done really well. This is how she gets on with the next seven. <laughs> Good old Fran, stuck there with the gate open. There's a holiday boat coming through. So she's having to wait till they go through before she can close the gate. You enjoying doing the swing bridges, Fran? Easy, she says. But this one coming up is even easier. We've only got to push buttons. Oh, I'll have to throw you the key. Here we are at Pennine Cruisers. Filled up with uh, diesel, just a little top up, another gas bottle, and uh, Roland at the back who's helping us is great. He's mindful of information, where to go, what to see, where to moor. That's brilliant. So that's that done. And I've checked we had a little bit of a gas leak because we're not tightening the, the valve tight enough on the gas bottle, so uh, that's that sorted. So we're back on the move again, another five miles to go, and we're at Gargrave again.
Well, that was a long day. It's about 5.30. We've been on the go since 10.30 this morning, but we're where we wanted to be, in Gargrave. So 10 miles, 10 bridges, three locks, and uh, made it. So Fran's popped inside. She's gonna have a shower. Had mine when we were filling up with water. And uh, I might go and pop off and have a quick beer. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing um, comments on the last video and lots of people are asking about your artwork oh and it's just fortunate that while I'm working working doing comments you're doing artwork I am I'm uh, running the risk of losing this one I'm overworking it and I need to stop and walk away from it so it's just about an hour in the process of painting this picture is that the hard thing stopping it's overworking it is it's stopping and just walking away and then coming back to it later that's what i should be doing but it's always well, maybe if i just do this and tweak this so it's not like having a studio where you can walk away is it that's the problem no i'm working with acrylic or acrylic paints and they dry quickly to be honest but i'm trying a, a different style than normal and uh, we're running out of water in the tanks so I'm using canal water. <laughs> I'm hoping that oh, might make a difference. Yeah. You might develop a new technique. Who knows? Not only are we running out of water, we've run out of biscuits. So I'm going to make a cake and stick it in the oven. Morning coffee without a biscuit, that's just wrong. I know. I'm sorry. Bread and jam? No. I should oh. save myself for the fantastic lunch you're going to do. Oh, OK. <laughs> Well, I've gone about as far as I want to go with this. It's getting a bit muddy, so I'm packing up. But this is the best part of it all, peeling off the tape at the end of the process. And it always makes the picture look better than it actually is. <laughs> Thanks, Fran. An assistant? Yeah, well done, Fran. You can peel it. Oh, I'm not taking that responsibility. Oh, can I always have this job? Yeah. No, I think I get the uh, pleasure of putting all the work. You put it towards, towards me, away from the painting, that's it. Come on, keep going. Well done. So different. Yeah, I quite like that. Quite happy with that. Well, we're moving the boat just a couple of hundred yards backwards to uh, fill up with water and also charge the batteries a bit and create some hot water. Uh, we hate running the boat when we're just moored up. It's uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just horrible sitting in the boat for hours on end with the engine running. So uh, this is great, good excuse to get moving a bit. So uh, we're having some coal delivered at the lock at the bottom there as well. And uh, that'll be us done for the day. And so we'll just move back a bit further up from where we were in a better solar panel position. Well, the coal's been delivered, four bags of it. And I'm not looking forward to this because I've got to carry it to the boat down there. Normally it's not a problem, but the other day I slipped on the mat in the middle of the boat and crash landed on the sofa, on the arm of the sofa and bruised my ribs. So uh, that was a week ago, but I'm getting a lot better now. So here we go. Another opportunity for me to be the hero. Got to move back from there to there. Oh, bugger. We keep saying we're going to get a trolley for days like this. But to be honest, it's so rarely that we need a trolley to shift stuff. So again, it's just something you have to store on the boat, whether it's on the roof or inside, and then you've got to lock it up if it's on the roof. So we're managing at the moment. Mission accomplished. Back to the morning spot.
as you can see they haven't even bothered taking the canopy down just a quick mission to fill it with water and back and uh, do some video editing this dog doesn't realize it's february catching feathers a complete numpty how was your bus ride Fran? <laughs> it wasn't great it's the bumpiest bus in Yorkshire we got here five minutes early because the driver goes so quickly then we get here early around bumpy windy roads dogs were sick <laughs> i felt sick clearing up after the dogs let's hope the day gets a bit better eh <laughs> Well, the day did actually get better. We spent the night at the local hotel, visiting Malham Cove, Gorsdale Scar, and Janet's Foss beautiful waterfall. But some idiot deleted the files on the SD cards, forgetting he hadn't transferred them to the computer. So unfortunately of this beautiful visit and all the filming we did for you, the only things I've got left are these few clips that I took on my mobile phone. into Skipton Woods and I've never ever seen as much wild garlic you can smell it and everywhere you look is completely covered um, we're going to take home one little bag full but to come back when it's in flower would be absolutely amazing yeah a viewer told us about it didn't they yeah it they was did, a lady yeah. viewer sorry yeah. I don't remember your name yeah but also we just spotted lots of blobs of frog spawn which is brilliant so in the uh, water here is definitely I think it's the second day of meteorological spring or whatever it is now but it's uh, in my books it's spring heading up to the top up there 50 steps to climb but the views apparently are well worth it Dirty boots, Fran. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because you've just promised to clean them for me when we get to the end of the walk. Although I've got a feeling there's a motive in that and it's because we're going to go into a pub for a beer <laughs> and I can't go in muddy boots. Is that right? Maybe. Um, we've got no dogs with us today. They're on the boat because we've got boring old shopping to do, supermarket shop. 
before we go out into the sticks. I've got a bag of stuff though, but it's not um, what you think, it's wild garlic. And that's about 0.0001% oh, 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 of oh, what oh, is oh, here. Oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> there's, there's just so much. So um, we'll have that for a couple of meals. Come back when maybe the buds are on there and I'll pick some buds for pickling. Be the long drop. The old medieval Kazi. Shiny shoes, friend. Reasonably, they'll have to do. <laughs> a bit more spit and polish needed, I think, but never mind. Skipton Castle is a magnificent Norman castle built in 1090 with 17th century additions. There's a fabulous yew tree planted in 1659 by Lady Anne Clifford celebrating the castle's restoration and is still growing to this day. Frank, close the window. 